Hello guys, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Kian.Smart Home. This video is about how to upgrade the firmware of MCO Home Z-Wave Plus Touch Switches. The latest firmware of MCO Home Z-Wave Plus Touch Switches has new features. The major difference is about parent device. Using older versions, turning on or off parent device only a state of relay one changes but in the latest firmware if you turn on or off parent device si simultaneously all relays turn on or off in order to upgrade the firmware of these touch switches to latest one you need a gateway that supports OTA in this video, I use Z-Wave PC controller. Stay with me to watch how to upgrade the firmware of S314, which is a 4 gang Z-Wave Plus touch switch. By the way, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please click the subscribe button and motivate me to make more videos. I have connected Z-Wave PC controller to a PC and installed Z-Wave PC controller program. This is the interface of Z-Wave PC controller. You can find the links of the files that we need for update in the description. To update the MCO Home Z-Wave Plus touch switch first of all it must be included to the Z-Wave PC controller to do so I click on network management click on add the PC controller is in inclusion mode by entering MCO home touch switch to inclusion mode it will be added to PC controller By pressing and holding each of the buttons of the switch for about 8 seconds, it will be added to Z-Wave PC controller. Now it's working. By, se uh, by selecting the items, you can control them. After Including the device to the Z-Wave PC controller, I click on the home icon to go to the home page. Then I select OTA, firmware update. I select the parent device, the one that I want to upgrade it. Then I click on get. After getting information of the firmware, in the firmware update section, I click on three dots to select the file of the new firmware. This is the new file. After selecting the file, I click on update. S314 is being updated. Please wait until the OTA firmware update completed.
update is completed. After updating is completed, we have to click on activate. Now you can exclude the device from Z-Wave PC controller and add it to your Z-Wave gateway. Start using it, enjoying the latest firmware. Let's exclude the device from Z-Wave PC controller. To do so, I go to Network Management. I select the device, the parent one. Click on Remove. Controller is in exclusion mode by entering the touch switch to exclusion mode. It will be removed. I press each of the buttons and hold it. Device is excluded. This is the end of video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to leave comments.